Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. This is Western Pacific weather. If you just can take one moment, hit that subscribe button. We'll get right into the update out here across the Western Pacific today. And then most notable feature uh, is what we call basically a shear line, almost a front extending behind a low off towards the north and the east, which has lined up these showers across parts of the uh, Philippines, especially northern Luzon. Uh, extending down this overall is going to continue over the next few days but what also what's kind of interesting about this this is not tropical nor is conducive for tropical weather because you see that northerly flow uh, winds coming in from the north and also you can kind of see the upper level clouds being skewed that way but the low level winds are actually coming in from the southwest along our coastal areas and you'll see that here with our future cast in just a second with the wind barbs. So this looks like it's going northeast to southwest, but that's actually the upper level winds. So if you have low level winds coming in this direction, upper level winds going in that way, of course that creates a lot of shear. Now shear in this scenario is also conducive for creating some decent thunderstorms. And that's what we're gonna continue to see Thursday afternoon into Friday afternoon, even over towards Saturday afternoon out here in the Philippines as well. Just those afternoon storms, a few of them could get quite squally uh, with some pretty decent lightning. No worries out here in the tropics for the time being, though. Uh, overall light flow coming in from the east. You got those scattered showers. But once again, that interaction with that flow from the north and the south kind of kicking up that uh, chance of some of these decent rainfalls across that area. But I like this graphic because it really shows you uh, from University of Wisconsin, mic microwave imagery really kind of shows you what I'm talking about here. That northerly cooler flow spilling in. See that interaction? See where that line is? Extends back towards Hong Kong. This line of those showers extending even back to just north of Guam. So yeah, there's that clear interaction. That troughing helps create that line of instability. Uh, also, if we did see any tropical systems, a hard right turn, they would take out the sea uh, with this particular setup. So not conducive whatsoever for tropical organization. The climate prediction says, center says a less than a 20% chance of development. I think that's more climatological than uh, than um, operational in that analysis because the, none of the models say anything's going to be developing out there uh, in the Philippine Sea through the end of June. It looks like after our two named storm systems, we could just get right back into a calmer period, at least for the time being. I like this graphic. You can also see that southwesterly flow really just dominating uh, all the way from the Bay of Bengal out there. And, with that, you get the wet season, so we have that chance of afternoon showers in uh, Mindanao. Not so much of a size, but it is there. The heavier stuff, at least for our Thursday, out here on the west coast of Mindoro, Manila as well. You could be looking at some pretty decent rainfall for our friends out here in the NCR. Maybe even out just towards Subic too, and uh, definitely San Fernando, Pangasinan, up into the mountains, into Baguio. You're going to be looking at that chance rainfall here's another look in Baguio too uh, 23 degrees only for your high compare that out to Cagayan you know we're looking at mid 30 so about a 10 degree high temperature drop if you uh, decide to take the highway up into the hills there Oof. it's a lot cooler could even be cooler on Friday 22 degrees only for your high and the reason is that cloud cover that southwesterly wind flow it's that time of year where it just dominates your forecast. Cebu is going to be looking at on and off showers possibly on Thursday, but not a lot, unfortunately. I know you still want the rain. You still need it, but uh, take a look at that overall extended forecast. I'm not sure why this graphic snuck in there, but we'll show it. Why not? A little westerly low trying to spin up along the coast of China there. There's Okinawa staying relatively dry over the next few days. The rainy season just towards the north, though kicking off these lows one after another. This is the graphic I meant to get to. Just real quick, our friends on Patreon to continue to support this channel, especially Garmin, Colonel Sai, Jeff Davis, Jacqueline Smith, all donate more than $10 a month. I can't thank you guys enough. My food is $6 a month in. It really goes a long way, guys. Just keeping this channel running. Um, not only am I <clears throat> just doing this stuff out here, but also, it just helps um, pay the bills more or less to keep it going. So, yeah, big thanks for supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough. All right, there's a look at that forecast for Cebu, Manila, Ho Chi Minh. As we go out into Friday, still got that southwesterly flow. 
something we're going to continue to watch, but at least for the time being, no tropical threats out here in the Western Pacific. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. As always, thanks for watching, and stay safe out there, friends. Have a good day.